کہ انہیں وقت کے سربراہ عطیشہ گوان سے بزارش کروں گا کہ وہ تشریف لائیں اور وہ اسلام آباد بار سوشن سے کتاب فرمائیں اللہ حافظ
This is a unique step. And yesterday, I congratulated the acting president of Pakistan. That, and I thank on behalf of 10 net lawyers of India that you have provided this unique facility because no other country has provided this facility of medical, medical aid to the legal profession. We have to normalize our relations and judges and lawyers can play an effective role in normalizing our relations. We have to see what is possible, what we can do. We have to create an atmosphere in the public so that the governments, both the governments can really implement, really solve this problem. Till there is a confidence or the government is having confidence that whatever they will do, the public is going to admit they are going to accept, only then they will be doing. There is a great need because our people are starving. There is no medical facilities in our villages, whether it is Pakistan, whether it is India. So, we have to curtail the expenses, what we are spending in safeguarding our borders. But curtailing those things, we have to give basic requirements to the general public at large. With these remarks, I again express thanks on behalf of our delegation to all of you for providing us to meet you, to come to your Bar Association. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Adesh T. Agarwal, uh, the head of delegation of the <coughs> Royal Executive from India, respectable ladies and great members of the Kamal Bar. <laughs> I'm 